So here is a Bob Beck style blood electrifier. And I've been using that for the last year with these sponge electrodes that I made and attached on there myself. You can see that they're, they're old and worn. And uh, fairly recently, the wire, something in the wires uh, malfunctioned. And so it's not really connecting, uh, conducting the current that well. So I made a new pair of sponge electrodes here with a new replacement wire. And now I know Bob Beck, when he was uh, introducing this and giving lectures on it and giving his instructions on how to use it, he was insistent that you need to use co cotton electrodes. Um, and he said no other material should be used, but I figured since uh, there are a, a variety of type of devices that conduct electricity into the human body using sponge electrodes, such as uh, transcranial stimulation and iontophoresis and things like that. So I figured there shouldn't be any harm in using sponge electrodes, and it's, it's worked just fine. So here is to turn that on, and that flashing LED light, when the wire is not in, it tells you that the battery is working. So we'll attach the new cord. And it's very simple to make these. I just take a, a cellulose kitchen sponge, cut it with scissors. I sewed it on just with a needle and thread. I sewed, went through the sponge, tied around the base, and then I wrapped a rubber band around it to hold the string in place. So these guys over here lasted me over a year. And actually, you see, the electrodes are continuing to work. They continue to work just fine. It's just that the wires malfunctioned. So I'm going to stick you in here like that. And once that's attached, you turn it on. You don't see the LED anymore. That's just a... It's made to, uh, to be able to test your battery when the wire's not in there, but it doesn't need to be flashing the whole time. Then I have some salt water here. So let's try our new electrodes. Soak them up. There we go. There we go. Get some brine on there. And when you have something this quite this large, it may not be best to use them on one wrist. Uh, the risk of them being too close together and having the the water just drip across your wrist on the surface here <clears throat> and not actually penetrate so I'd use one on the uh, the radial the radial pulse point on one wrist and then one on the other wrist or use it on the uh, the uh, medial malleolus meaning right behind the inside of your ankle bone where you got another pl a pulse point and so Back to Beck's claim that you need to use a cotton electrode. And these, these conduct the electricity through your skin just fine, and I can actually prove it very easily. I'm going to turn this on. Turn it up high. Let me just first test. There you go. I feel the pulse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold one in one hand. And let's see how well I can do this. I'm going to turn this around. Let me get out of the light. Turn this around. Point it at me. Hello. And now I'm going to take the other one. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on my forehead. Now watch this. So what's going on there? If you do that, I don't know if it really got me. We'll see. But when you do that, when you touch uh, one electrode to your forehead, or when I do it to my forehead, I get what's called phosphenes, which are flashes of light. And so what that means is that the electrical current is actually penetrating through the skin, through the skull, uh, back behind the eye, and stimulating the optic nerve. The phosphenes are those, what I'm seeing flashes of light, 
means my optic nerve is being stimulated by the um, the pulsing electrical current. It's like a flash, 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 flash. Quick, fla quick light flashing in my optic nerve. So that electricity is pulsating all the way through back to the nerve that connects the eyeball to the brain. And so if it penetrates that deeply, a couple of inches, it's definitely going to pe penetrate deeply enough a couple of, a few millimeters when you place this directly on let me get that in place there for you Yep. if you were to place that and secure that with a band right on the medial artery or the radial artery there on the pulse point one on each wrist then it penetrates just fine so this is my approach to using blood electrification with sponge electrodes rather than copper electrodes.